morning. Thank you so much at home for watching. We have a very special show for you today because we have a very special lady here with us. She's special in so many ways, but most of all for taking care of sick people for 40 years. So let's welcome Skip McDonald yes. and nurses everywhere. Let's give them a hand. Thank you. Us today. This is a real, a real treat to get to know you because my daughter-in-law actually knows you a lot better than I do. So to get to meet you after hearing such wonderful things from her. You. But you've got so much in your background. Um, what I'm really interested in starting out to hear a little bit more about is how you work with Nurses of Christian uh, Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about that because you have a real passion in that area and you've worked almost uh, 18 years, I think, in that yeah. Yeah, well, having been a nurse for a long time, and when I went to nursing school, it was a struggle. So mm -hmm. to be able to reach back to nursing students and give a hand or a hug or a burger and encourage yeah. them to, you know, keep running the race, you know, you can do this, um, it's a real privilege. Yeah, that yeah. is awesome. Tell me about the things that y'all do. Yeah, so I go on different nursing school campuses uh -huh. and um, I do some leadership training. We do Bible studies together, oh, pray awesome. together. Oh, uh, we talk about what's going on in their in their classes, in the clinical area, and just try to be a source of encouragement to them. Yeah. Is there yeah. a lot of stress in nursing? I guess that's just yeah. a ridiculous yeah. question. <laughs> How much stress? <laughs> is there ever a time there's not any stress in nursing? Um, maybe there are some times when there's not as much stress yeah. because even if you enjoy your job as a nurse, oftentimes you're running hard. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. So I, I enjoy the nursing that I do now, but I work hard. Skip, did you always want to be a nurse? From a, as a little girl, did you play nurse? And I did. Be? Mm -hmm. I did play Great. nurse as a little girl. Didn't we all? And, and, yeah, and no. you know, and no, it's interesting. I didn't play nurse. I know you played doctor. There's a lot of male nurses. Yeah, yeah. More and more male nurses. My yeah. mom always wanted me to be a nurse because her younger sister has mm -hmm. been a nurse. Matter of fact, she's uh, maybe just retired. She was an emergency room nurse, but I couldn't stand the sight of blood. How mm -hmm. do you do it? <laughs> well, uh, I don't have to do it much now because of the kind of nursing that I do. Okay. Um, but before, when I've worked, you know, in the hospital setting and had to deal with the blood, it was really—I mean, it was okay. I mean, because as a nurse, you know that that's going to be a part of right. it. Yeah. Right. If you go into nursing and you think there's going to be no blood, <laughs> somebody has <laughs> deceived you. <laughs> so, right. so you just know right. that you know. And now you have to have the extra precautions, yeah. you know, oh. when you're handling body fluids and that kind of thing. Right. So it's true. medicine has changed so much mm -hmm. in 40 what kind years. Of nurse yeah. were you? Ooh. What was your specialty? Um, I've done a variety of nursing, but I, I would say my niche has been in, I did public health for a while, I love that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing psychiatric nursing, and I oh, love wow. that. Mm -hmm. I'm in my sweet spot in that. Wow. Well, it has been said also that in many cases in the profession that nurses actually know more than the doctor, especially when it comes to bedside manner for the patients. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, um, I, I don't know if like, Book-wise, we could say we know more than the doctors, but in the sense of knowing more of what's going on with the patient, right. mm -hmm. that would be us. Yes. And so, uh, you know, we have some doctors who have um, more bedside manners than maybe others. Oh, yeah. and, um, <laughs> and so hopefully, maybe for those who don't have it quite as much, the nurse can kind of encourage that mm -hmm. or pick up the slack where that has happened. And um, so hopefully, if you have a nurse, you have one who's compassionate yeah. um, towards you as a patient. Is there a code, because I kind of heard with that same lines, that there's kind of a code that if the doctor is telling the patient to do one thing and the nurse, keep, nurse keeps dropping another thought in the, in the patient's ear, that the patient really needs to catch that the nurse is trying to tell you, you don't need to do that, you need to do this. Oh, wow. wow. Well, that's a can of worms right there. I don't do that right. okay. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I, I want to be careful Are with that. Are nurses scared of the doctors? Uh, some may be, I'm not. <laughs> you know, some may be, you know, and, and I say that even as a, as a young nurse. Some of these I, nurses are scared know, to death to call yeah. the home. Yeah, you know, I, I, I try to treat people with respect, and I would appreciate it if you treat me with mm -hmm. respect. Right. And so 
I really have never had a problem with that's a doctor, good. really. That's good. Yeah. So you've had to yeah. learn, you've had to stretch your skills all these years because now everything's computerized, so when you go in a patient's room, you're on the computer, right, documenting? And yeah, in, in some settings, um, some hospitals have become more computerized, some still have their typical charting, right. and where I am, we are pretty much still paper. Have they computerized yeah. changing those bedpans yet? <laughs> 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 there are some so maybe that's maybe that's 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 yeah. <laughs> it's not so it bad. Good. <laughs> but you don't wear white anymore, right? You wore, um, you started yeah. out with white. Most people do, you know, the different color scrubs, and depending yeah. on where you work, sometimes like at, at our hospital, we the nurses can wear royal blue and navy blue. Okay. And so, you know, depending on where you work, there might be a certain color scrub that they yeah. want you to wear, just for identification. What led to this book? And she lived happily ever after. Well, what led you to write a book? I'd uh, been journaling since junior high school. Really? Oh, wow. So yeah. putting my good. thoughts on paper has always been important. It's cathartic for me just mm -hmm. to put it out. Mm -hmm. And good. so when I had the opportunity and I was approached by our ministry because we have a publishing company to write a book on singleness, I was thrilled. Wow. And I was called to be single when I was 30. So you've never so been married at Never all? been married, okay. never birthed any babies. It's, mm -hmm. you know, so I have a lot of spiritual kids. Yeah. And um, so... A lot of it is writing my journey about my single walk with That's good. Yeah. So what's the thought on no more kissing frogs? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so the book, And She Lived Half Love After, the tagline is finding fulfillment as a single woman. And so the gist of the book is I'm not telling you not to get married. I'm just telling you to live life to the fullest mm -hmm. as you're single. Well, oh, that's said. good. Mm -hmm. well I like said. it. Mm -hmm. that's good. How do you know you were called to be single? Well, I... Um, had this conversation, well, no, let me put it this way. I was standing in my living room one day and this thought went through my head, what if I never want you to marry? Mm -hmm. oh. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> 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 coming right back with Skip McDonald. <laughs>